Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to Fairy Tale Origins with me, and only me, because I'm my own today, as as always. Um, so welcome back everyone, where I've done a bit of off-camera work this, for, for once, I don't do it very often, actually I do it quite a lot in Fairy Tale. I have to do a lot in Fairy Tale, there's a lot of mods in this, I'm never going to cover them all in one series if I don't do a bit off-camera work, so yeah. Um, Zaro and Inmo a long time ago recommended I make these tanks, makes the things grow faster. Even magical crops, I just don't see it. Like I've I've been nursing these gas soul crops for quite some time, and it's just it's not growing anything, <laughs> which is sad because I need that for gas tears. I went nether hunting for gas. It was absolutely painful. Several gas that I murdered ended up dropping their tears in lava, which then made me drop tears because I was crying at it, just standing by the pit of lava that they fell into. Like oh my god, I need to go look for our gas now. So yeah, that was fun. Anyway, something cheerful. Question of the day. So last time I asked the question, what was your favourite shipping in Fairy Tale? And I was quite, I wasn't sur too surprised about some of the, like quite a few of the comments that I was expecting. Some, obviously some of them, but yeah, I was quite surprised. A certain favourite new floating about was, um, what was it? Nali. Um, or Nali. Yeah, is it Nali? Yeah, it'd be Nali. Because it, it's Natsu and Lisana. I saw that one floating about quite a bit. I forgot about that one. I forgot that it's kind of like a shipping. It's technically a shipping because, you know, childhood friends and whatnot. So, yeah, that was the thing. But no, some of the comments I picked out. So, Gajil Levy, because Gajil is a strong character. Levy is a smart character. Um, smart. So, their kid would be better than most characters. And that was by Julius Winston, which is a brilliant theory. Unless they have twins or two children and one just gets each quality. Which is totally possible. So you see that a lot in kids. Um, or you just have one super kid, one or the other. Then again, wouldn't that soon Lucy's... Kid be quite similar because Lucy's quite smart, not on levy smart level, but Nats is stronger. And Gajil, does that make up for it? I don't know. Anyway, um, other than that, also got my favourite ship is Jerza, which is um, Urza and Jalal because Urza is always taking command when everyone's fighting and she's um, loud, but when she's around Jalal, she's so shy, and that was by the animated panda. Um, yeah, that's a fair point, actually. Eris is one of those ones that's quite awkward about love. Like, she freaked out when she found out this guy and Aslak, I think his name is, I forget his name, the gun guy, um, when they got married and had a child and stuff, she kind of, like, she kind of freaked out and had a cool reaction, or funny reaction to it. Like, she doesn't seem to handle lovey situations very well. She's so used to combat. It's it's just funny when you, you see her in a love situation. And hey, my favourite shipping would be... Now, how is, how is this one again? Gally, would it be? Ga Gajil and Levy? Yeah, Gally. I'd say Gally's probably my favourite for quite a few reasons. One being how they started. Like, Gajil beat the absolute crap out of Levy. Like, left her for base. Well, not really for dead, but he left her tied up in a tree. <laughs> um, so, when you start off, when you start meeting someone like that, you don't think, yeah, they're a shipping in the future. No. It wasn't until the Laxis, um, the Battle of Fairy Tale arc, where there's the fight I'm going to say, and I see Gajil and Levy speaking to each other, and Gajil's like watching over what Le Levy's work. Interested, and I'm like, okay, there's something here. That's the first time I noticed it, like, that's quite early for most people. I'm betting most people never noticed it until maybe the S-Class exam, where... Actually, no, I suppose Gajil did also protect Levy. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm now level 10, so Moonstone's starting to drop, and it's horrible, because Moonstone um, breaks things when it falls. So if it hits my building, I'd be quite sad. But yeah, no, um, yeah, it'd be my favourite shipping. There's tons of shippings out there. I saw a ton of them in the comments. Some weird, some not. Some of them was grey Natsu. Kind of was expecting that one. Um, I, really, if Zoro was with me today, I would appoint, I would actually put up on the board the one that I saw for Romeo and Wendy because he hates, he hates that shipping. Because, like, he doesn't like Romeo as a character at all because Romeo's so useless. Anyway, moving on. Um, we need a new question today. So let's go for... What is a fight in Fairy Tale you would have liked to have seen? So, like, what's a fight that just, it never happened, but you would have liked to have seen it? It could be a rematch, like a later, like a later stage rematch, just, or two characters that just never fought. Well, it's just a fight you would have loved to have seen. Let's hear the, com let's hear the ideas, let's hear the reasons why. In the comments down below. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, I can show you the other thing I've been up to, because obviously I've not been working on the hill very much. I've actually been moving things out of the hill, because... Got a, a quite a mixed reaction for the boat. Uh, majority, I think, would say that I should move just into the boat. But quite a few people said I should keep both houses. So I'm going to keep both. I'm going to keep using this one occasionally. I'm going to use it for the signs and stuff. But I'm going to move most of my operation over to the boat. Which, I have a few ideas about the boat, actually. Right, move it to the boat. 
Also, just a fair bit of warning. I don't know if the server is lagging or my internet just sucks. It could be both. It could be Mavis traveling. I don't know. But either way, occasionally when I teleport over, I may start lagging backwards into that teleport spot. Because that's happened a few times. But anyway, um, now that we're on the boat. Now, obviously, I need to keep this sail here. Because it's got the fairy tale symbol on it. And it looks cool. That's a full moon. Oh, no. No, but I've not got a sheep anymore. The sheep escaped. I don't know how it escaped, but the sheep did escape. Um, can I quickly... Hold on. Slash. No. Slash. Home. I need this sheep. It's a full moon. I might be able to get a werewolf disease. I want this werewolf thing. Come on. Work. I've not got time for this. <laughs> it's lagging. <laughs> there we go. Uh, take, your t take your time, game. It's alright. You know, it's not like it's a full moon. I'm on a timer or anything. God. Freaking. Damn it. Not going to make it. Also, I don't even know where my lead is there is. And slash back. Quickly, quickly now, quickly. It's The night isn't young anymore. Oh, God. The night isn't young anymore. Come on. Also, I don't know why, but I can double jump now, and it's very weird. All right, quickly, 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 quickly. I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Ow! Oh, there's a zombie there. Uh, moving on. Sheep! Come back to me if you want to write sheared. I sheared it. Sheep, come with me. Oh, God. Everything is lagging quite a bit, actually. Oh, God. This is totally going to result... Oh, no, it's back. I was going to say this is totally going to result in me, like, stabbing my sheep. But never mind. All right. Quick, 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 sheep. Come on. Come on. Don't waste my time. Wake up to the statue quickly so we can feed you to the hungry wolves. I want to become a werewolf. Oh, God. There's a spider blocking it. No! Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone! Alright, it's tied up. I can kill them now. I did wait here, actually. I Like, after I did the last episode, I did actually wait here trying to get a werewolf to spawn. It never happened. That was that. that I, I went through, like, a full moon night and just, it never happened. So, it may have spawned, maybe, and it was just too far away. But if it did, I could not find it. So, the search and wait for the werewolf continues. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get it someday. Maybe. That or it will spawn in some whole ditch somewhere. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to leave here for now. I'll come back in a little bit later in the episode. Also, oh yeah, I've gained a wind definitely. Like a pretty strong one. 70%. This is bad. This is really bad because I like wind is cool and all because it means I take less damage when I fall and stuff because I'm light as a feller. But I'm light. And see when it rains, I blow about. And I hate that because like it's, it's as if I'm getting shoved around the place like I'm trying to break stone or something it's just like blowing me about all over the place it's like I've got set quest dodges enabled it's horrible but as I was saying I need to keep this sail but I am curious or I'm considering well I should tear this sail down and replace it with trees right then come mad but I want to do witchery here so that's why I put grass on the ground so it looks pretty so I'm tempted to like Either take this tree down and just plant several trees all the place, or take this tree down and plant one of the big jumbo trees, like the big 7x7 seven seven ones. Or just a big tree in general, just in the middle, um, to replace it. Also tempted to tear down that one and replace it with my windmill from the um, from the main house, because I also think that would be fine here. Because um, I could totally move my academy, academy craft stuff up here. Sure, could totally do that. Now moving on with the tour, um, turn this room into storage room basically. Just got a bunch of chests, bunch of storage. That's a bit, I've moved a lot of my stuff over. Not everything, but I have moved quite a bit. Um, if I quickly remember which stuff is where. Shove that in there, that in there. Get the food chest we're doing here. I've got the barrels that are holding my some of my things. I've got a few elevators to help me get about. But I'm not going to use them right now. Right, down next floor, I removed the fish tank. So I've got a nice bit of open space. Mostly because I was getting quite annoyed having to run through this room. And around every time I wanted to come downstairs. Um, so I just removed that to give me more space. I'm going to keep the cages for now because I can learn how to teleport things. So I could teleport things into them. Although the cages themselves will probably need upgraded because they're not very good. And finally down here I have made the crop farm. Magical crop farm basically. Even though there's one just over the hill there. But you know I'm going to want to grow Pacific crops. So you know I need to. Plus my own resources are always nice. And I've locked up the back because I don't want things to get in. And I put an elevator down to here so I can get from the top floor. Come on, game. Come on, you can do it. There we go. With that, <clears throat> basically I can get down to the crop farm pretty quick. So yeah, there's what I've been up to. There's the ship. There is everything. Um, 
You guys can let me know what you think about the idea of tearing down a cell. I might end up doing it by myself anyway, but I don't know for sure if I should or not. I'm considering it just to replace it. I like, I like, I like the idea of having lots of trees up here. Because I'm going to do witchery at some point, so you know. Makes sense, I think. Anyway, I need to move on with our day. So, I have a wind affinity, sadly. But there's not a hell of a lot I can do about it till I unlock more things. I don't... I need to try and avoid getting 100% in that. That is a thing, though. So, I'm going to quickly have a little look in this. So, I've leveled up a bunch. So, I've now got three blues. I have no greens, still. So, that's kind of a bummer. But I have no idea what I need the next things for. Like, I've not really decided myself what I'm doing next. It looks like I'm going to need a lot of greens for what I'm doing next. Um, an offense, what have I got? Got blind, solar, fury damage. Can get drown if I wanted. Uh, what's in utility? Got a few feller touch. Nah. Place block's actually pretty useful for building if you put it in projectile. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, okay, lunar. Okay, lunar is actually an interesting one. That would make it nighttime. And if I learn that, then okay, no, that wouldn't work actually. Because in order to change night and day, it requires an immense amount of magical power, and I do not have that. Um, Blink is the next one I want, but I need a green for that. There's no bosses I can fight easily that could provide me green, so I've not actually seen any of the creature. Like, because of Biomes of Plenty being on, I cannot find any of the things to summon the Nature Guardian. Which is quite sad, because I would quite like to fight the Nature Guardian. Well, I wouldn't like to fight him, but I would feel like I could give it a good bash. I think this armor would keep me safe, so, you know, I reckon it'd be worth it. Oh! The other thing that happened, um, I spoke with peoples about the, um, I was going to quickly check and see if there's a werewolf anywhere. I don't think there is, sadly. Nope, it appears the werewolf, um, keeps running around doing whatever it's doing. I don't know. Werewolves aren't here yet, though. I hope this isn't some kind of glitch. I really hope it's not. I hope I can still get them because of all the different mods. And I assume I can. I assume it's still possible. But as for the guild, the guild hasn't changed any, even though people have been on. But I have gotten permission just to do whatever the hell I want to. So I can start building on this guild now. So I'll probably end up doing that. I'll probably end up helping out um, with the building process. Just to speed things up. Because I, I'm on here quite a bit. So, you yeah, know. Building process. All the Richie and Panda were handling it. I, would, or I think it was just Richie actually. Um, I'll just help along with building up the place. And hopefully that will bring things along a bit tad quicker. Because I quite like to have a full guild. Because the way it's looking right now, it looks it looks like a house, but it doesn't look like properly like a guild hall, does it? Like a guild hall is supposed to have a big, massive open room and stuff. Well, it doesn't have to, but you know, the two guilds that are how many guilds have we seen inside? We saw in Fairy Tale. We saw in the main room in Phantom. Have we seen inside other guilds? I can't remember. I don't know. But either way, the two guilds we did see in had a big, massive room when you entered, like for drinking stuff. So I feel like we should have one of them. So. I'm quite tempted. I'll obviously keep what Richie's build there, like, keep it there, but I'll try, like, maybe use this entire area here and, like, build a massive room or something. I don't know. I've got the resources for it, so I might give it a go. <clears throat> also, I've noticed my throat is very dry today for some reason, so you might hear me, like, doing that noise I did a second ago a few times. Because <clears throat> I seem to be getting quite a dry throat quite often now. Also, they planted a new thing in this farm, I believe. Where is it? Where is it? It's not the diamonds. Diamonds are cool. Um, they've got the moonstone crops. Don't care about them. Or the vinium dust. Or them. Where is it? There it is. They've got weather plants now. For making weather skulls. That's interesting. I'm going to keep one of these. So yeah, now we can start getting weather skulls with them. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Like, I'll probably get it for nether star farming. Because I'm going to need nether stars regardless. Now. Oh. The other thing I did off camera. Oh god. Game lag, you fail me so bad. What is this? Come on. Get up here. Jesus Christ. Did the game activate it when I just wanted it to? It would have been all fine, but no. No, it just, it just didn't. God damn. Anyway, with our thing I did, um, I did more blood magic. So, I now have the sigil of the blood lamp. That's why you can see those weird red things floating around here. So, yeah, they're... Well, they don't really serve any purpose, but they're here. You know, they're, they're a thing. Also, whether I will actually plant you. Yeah, you can go here. If I look back home quickly. I have the gas, so I might just move it here. Like, even though it's grow it took so long to grow it to that point that it's at the now. Oh, God, the game's doing that thing again. Game, please stop it. Please, please just stop. Please, just don't do this. 
I'm breaking you, script. Give me my seed. There we go. We're moving this over to the box. I spent more time in the boat, so it'll grow quicker if I'm at the boat with it. Let's just head back. Damn, it looks like I'm developing a bit of a cough. Jesus. It's having a bit of a coughing fit off camera. Oh, the joys. Also, I think I've moved the mic to the right place. There we are. I didn't move it away when I was having a little bit of a coughing spree there. Not fun. Not fun. Voice isn't doing great today, apparently. But anyway, so here we are. We've got our things. Like, we've got some stuff set up. So now, where is my witch's oven? I might actually start by a witchery on here now, because that's the big plan for this big platform, is do a lot of witchery on it. What have I done with the witch's oven that I had? Um, Very good question. Also, how do you make a witch's cauldron again? Is it... You use Mandis, don't you? Or something like that. Mutandis. Mio. Where is it? A thing called Mutandis. Is it called Mutandis? Now I'm beginning to wonder. It might be called Mutandis. I think you need to make Mutandis and use it on the... Alright, which is... Which is oven? No. I know which is cauldron. How do I make a which is cauldron? Because I know I'm going to need that. I forget how I did it in my, in my last series. Or, not my last series. In the Naruto series. <clears throat> Blood Cusable? No. Um, I have no idea where this thing is. Whatever. We're just going to go look for the... Just, just ignore it for the day. We'll just, we'll deal with it later. <clears throat> Why am I looking in there? It's not going to be in there. Uh, da, 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 da. Did I leave it in the house? I probably left it in the bloody house, didn't I? I probably have. Or did I put it in one of these bags? I'm just not noticing. Hold on. It's not in that one. Oh, hold on. It might be Come back here. It might be in here. Yeah, here it is. Which is oven. So with this, and I need to make clay jars, and I can start collecting fumes and stuff, so, so I'll put the witchery stuff over here for now. Boop. There we are. Alright, we need clay. We need to make clay jars. We need to furnace them. Um, where is my clay? Clay is in here. Oh, wait, hold on. I had more stacks in here. There we go, and clay jars are made like so. Boop. Tons of clay jars. Put the cauldron back as well. Don't need that now. Right, and then the first thing you do, you smell wood and saplings, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need so. Okay, hold on. No, wait. That's game. Stop making me thing freak out. All right, that goes there. Right now, I need to, make, to figure out how to make a witch's cauldron while I'm doing that. So, coal. Witch's cauldron, here we go. It doesn't bloody tell me. Alright. How do I make... Okay, that's not how you spell mutandis. Mutan... Okay, here we go. I've got this time. Mutandis. I use a witch's cauldron to create it. Beautiful. I forget the start of witchery. Where is my notes? Hold on a minute, people. Alright, there we go. So, um, my notes don't actually say where, how you make it, but it's fine because I actually just quickly looked it up. You need anointing, anoint, what's it called? Anointing paste, that's what it is. Anointing paste, Jesus. Uh, so with that, you just use the four seeds and it creates the paste. And then you use that in a cauldron. Now, this boat's made of, like, mostly wood, so, yeah, the cauldron's going up really high. Because I refuse to leave it down below, just on the off chance the worst happens. So yeah, it's staying up here, and then we'll worry about everything else later. That can just chill up there, though. It means now I can make things that I finally need. So, <clears throat> with this thing now, actually, can I make a funnel for it? Where's the funnel? Funnel and filtered funnel. Can I make that? Okay, a chinstone is a bit beyond me at this point. I need to do rituals for that. So now we're just going to go with the basic. Yeah, I can manage that. All right, two iron blocks. Iron bar, gold, um, four buckets, and a bucket of lava. Easy enough. We even have a bucket of lava and all the buckets in here. If the game would stop lagging enough for me to actually do it. Here we go. So we need this. These go like that and that and that. There we are. 
Then we needed two iron blocks. I just went in the wrong chest. Game is so laggy for me today. It's unreal. Right. Need two iron blocks. One. Two. Then we need iron railing. I forget what the last thing was. Damn it. Oi. Stay there. Uh, what was the last thing? It was a glowstone block. Alright, that's easy enough. I get tons of glowstone from my time in the nether. Tons of it. There we are. And with that, we get one funnel, which I think is supposed to make it easier for... Uh, yeah, I think it, it, it's supposed to make it easier for getting good fumes. So, well, I hope. We'll see. That the filter will do that. I don't know. <laughs> but the filter is a bit beyond me at this point, so we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to hope and pray that this increases my chances of getting something good. So, all right, do you want to clip on? There we go. Beautiful. Right, so with the witch's thing down, I can now start smelling wood, which I don't need a stack of, but, you know, I'll take I'll take half a stack. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Um, what are you doing? No. Oh, God damn it! All right, that's going in. We'll just stick with the 16. It's fine. And I also need saplings, which... Where's... There's my oak saplings. Alright, hopefully I should get something good out of this then. We can only hope. So, we'll start with the wood. Alright, I still need coal to power this, so... Come on, remember what you're doing. Come on. There we go. Alright, and this should start giving me the stuff I need. Now, if only I could create a hop... I actually could create a hopper system and like, push it into this chest, the contents. I may actually try that. Hold on. Yeah, right, you've not got much in you, so hold on. Have I got hoppers already? If I don't, I'll just make some. Let's see if I can make a hopper system that like, just shoves everything remains into that chest. That'd be beautiful. If it would. Um, right, hoppers. For that, I'm going to need iron and wood, I guess. So, let's... Jungle wood, that'll do. And iron, we'll get tons of that. Now, we're only going to need two hoppers. Me two? No, we need one, actually. So, yeah. No, yeah, we need one. So, one hopper. Here's hoping this works. Oi. There we are. Put that there. I'll oh, see, right now where half my stuff's went. I put it all in bags somewhere. They're, they're in a bag. Don't worry about it. Right. Now, breaking bits of the boat. Oh, this will be fun. What's below you? Is the big question right now in my mind. Let us find out. Okay, it's another thing. Thank God. This makes life so much easier. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we need to put the chest there. Then we put the hopper there. Okay, it didn't work. Never mind. Damn it. That was worth a try. You know, in the off chance it did work, I would have made an automated witch's oven, which would have been beautiful, but never mind. Alright, what have I got out of this? Fill order, which is, I think, one of the first things you need. That's fine. Let's shove all this away. Bup, 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 bup. Shove the iron in there as well, because why not? Alright, fill fumes and charcoal to fuller power the oven later. I'll just shove that in the corner there. That'll be fine. Right, show. Now that's doing that. I did right click this. I wanted to see if I left anything in it, but no, I didn't. Oh, no, I did. I left the sacred ash. That is fine. Right. Now, I need green skill orbs. That's the big thing coming right now. Now, to do that, I can fight against two different guardians. I can fight against. Oh, no, actually, there's more than two, but. Yeah, there's more than two, but two are the easier ones to get. So there's the air guardian, which actually right now is impossible for me to get because I don't have the materials to build air essence that you need for this. And there's the Arcane Guardian, who... Is it Arcane Essence you need for the Arcane Guardian? I can't remember, but the Arcane Guardian is probably my best bet, because I could actually fight him and maybe beat him. So I might actually... Oh, God. If I quickly get my book... That is the boss is unlocked in it yet? Open. Um, There it is. Bosses! All right. Oh, God damn it. Bosses have unlocked... Only the first two. And I could look up how to fight. You know what, screw it, I'm just going to summon the Earth Guardian. <laughs> if I summon the Earth Guardian, the book will unlock more. 
The Arcane Guardian's a wee bit further down the line, but it's totally doable. My only issue with the Arcane Guardian is my only way of really fighting him is my Tempest Fist attack. Not my Tempest Fist. My Jet Fist attack, which is air. And air is very bad for me right now because air is sort of my huge affinity right now. And I, I don't want my affinity to be air. That's the last thing I want. Maybe lightning will work, I don't know. That I can throw, I'll throw needles at him, that'll work. Alright, and I believe Richie had a summoning thing for the Earth Guardian, so let's just get the stuff from him. Let's just summon him and fight him. I mean, I think I can beat him. I'm sure I can beat him. All else fails, Temp, uh, I'm not, why I keep saying Tempest Fist? It's, uh, the, the, the Jet Fist will work, because that will knock him into the air, then he will take some damage when he falls. My armor is in pretty good shape, so I should be fine. Now, for this, we need an emerald. We need shimmer, right? And we need a topaz, I think. I think it's that. Here's hoping. Right. No. No, no, no. Where did he make it? I think it was over here, I think. I believe it was. I really should go to the top of my ship and then just, like, dive off the top. It's like the cooler thing to do. Never mind. Right. Here it is. Oh, yes, yeah, it's totally it. Oi! Can you... can you stop? Can I like... Okay, yeah, the game's heavily lagging for me today. That that could be my internet, because my internet is pretty... pretty crap. It's always pretty crap. What's new? Alright. Work! Yes! Alright, he's here. Okay, that... did nothing. Yeah, that did literally nothing. Oh god. Ow! Please stop. Please don't hurt me. Oh god, okay, and- oh yeah, and it's lagging. This is bad. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. Alright, so this is gonna be quite tough. If it keeps lagging like this, I'm gonna have a really, really, really hard time getting them, so... Oh god. Turn on the thing! Turn on the thing! Turn on- I can't- how can I shoot him if I can't see where he is? The game's lagging too much. Which- I don't know if that's the server's fault, it could just be my internet's fault. My internet is pretty trash, right, today, well, today, <clears throat> today in particular. So my throat is not doing well today. Alright, I'm being hit by then, I can't, no. Can't, can't feel that, I can't take over to the sheep healer. Alright. What have I angered? Angered nothing, I thought I heard an enderman noise there. Oh god, this is like trying to bleed a rock, it just doesn't work. Actually, I'm going to quickly try and maybe reset the... I mean, this could also be because Mev is traveling somewhere. If Mev is traveling, that will be lagging the server at big time. Because the server lags a huge amount when people start traveling. I'm going to quickly try and pause and see if I can fix my, the internet a bit or do something. Because I need to fight them in a bit more of even ground. This is not going to work the way it's working right now. <laughs> okay, logging back in. Mev has left the server. Oh, God. Um, my internet is being restarted. And so far, things aren't lagging, so this is good sign. Maybe I can actually fight this guy now. All right. Sure, lightning. <laughs> yeah, it's not working. But on the plus side, it's getting my lightning affinity up, which... Lightning, I don't mind so much. Worst case with that is you light up some teeth. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to have to use... I'm going to have to use Moonwalk. Oh, God. All right, so... This guy does damage. Jeez, this guy does damage. Um, yep, here he comes. Eat, eat, eat. Uh, it's not best of surfaces for fighting this guy. You really need, like, a... S All the jumps and stuff just play to his advantage. He just jumps, he just step assists over them like a madman. Ow. Alright. Oh, that was a critical hit. It did 1.3 times damage. I I'm sure that did a lot to him. Yeah, it didn't. And also, it's now lagging again. That did not take long. Yes, my internet. My internet's doing trash, which <laughs> isn't good when you're fighting an Earth Guardian. Jesus. Scrap. I have to just risk getting an error if any. As long as I don't go to 100%, I'll be fine. Once I reach 100%, there's like no going back. Well, there is going back, but oh god, god damn it. Where's my Tempest Fist? Alright. Moonwalk. I keep saying Tempest Fist. It's Jet Fist. God damn. Also, with it lagging this much, can I send him to the moon? Possibly. Alright, he's probably in my face, but now there he is. Get over here. Oh, crap. It's lagging on his way down. Get back up.
Yeah, this does more damage. This does way more damage. Okay, he's now traps. Oh god. See the fact that yeah, see the fact that it's lagging when he's tr he's trying to hit me. That's it's not good. Oh god. All right, hold on, hold on. Get out of here. Run. We can't beat him when he glitches. Get out of the way, the zombie. You break that door down. You did this well. Get out of here. Okay, everything's just froze. The miner maybe drop this time? No, it's not. It's just running really, really bad. Oh god, how did he get inside? He should not be able to get inside. <laughs> what? No! I'm trapped. Oh god, he's came in through there as well. How are you doing this? I'm safe in here. He can't get in here. I hope. Oh god, he can shoot. Oh god, okay. Alright. We're just gonna chill back here. Also, is this going longer? I think it has. Yeah, guild arts, is, guild arts and Wendy have been added since last time. No! No! <laughs> the zombie's gonna break the door down! And then the Earth Guardian's gonna get in. Oh no! You are freaking kidding me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Thank for salvation! Thank for salvation! Thank for salvation! <laughs> oh god! How are you following me? You should not be following me! What the hell? Okay, I can't be yes. He should not be following me. That- no. Also, my foot has just went into crap. What the hell? Ah! I'm in pain in the game and in real life. Anyone hate that we're just sitting there, your foot just goes into cramp suddenly for no well experience. I think I've just not drank enough today. If you don't drink enough water, you think your feet can go into cramp or something like that. Your muscles cramp. That's a thing. It's like, it's, it's why people with eating disorders came cramps. I learned that in college at one point. So, yes. I call hacks. That Earth Guardian is clearly hacking. Like, he should not be able to get in there. He is a massive, massive creature. He cannot fit in that space. And now I can't bloody get him away. Also, I'm lagging so much, I can't stop him. Alright, we're going back to the boat. No, it's worse. I can't even leave him down there. If I leave him down there, then he's going to bloody... All my stuff's going to be there. And the next person that goes on, the next sod that comes on, I'll go in and take all my things. Oh, God. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. I've also got soul free for the next five minutes. And the game is lagging. A hell of a lot. So you know what? I'm going to end this episode here. I'll go retrieve myself off camera. I probably will not kill the Earth Guardian. I'll be lucky if I can even get my stuff back at this rate. <laughs> my internet's doing so much. It's because my family's watching stuff on Netflix. Oh god. I need my internet to like step its game up a bit. But anyway. Thank you all very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> I'm going to go die now a lot. I'm going to go fight. I'm going to go try and get my stuff off the Earth Guardian and I confined space. Why is why is the menu come up? Um so yeah, that's gonna that's not gonna go well at all. But yeah, so th this will be fun. Anyway, a quick remainder of question today is what is a fight you would have loved to have seen in Fairy Tale? Um just like what a re a new rematch or something like from ages ago, like a fight that happened ages ago that you would love to see rematch now that they're stronger or just two characters that never fought that you thought would be cool or just you know whatever you want. Just let us know in the comments down below and reason why. It'd be awesome, or why you'd love to see it. I might put you up on the board. And, yeah, I'll see you all next time, where I'll do bits, a few more bits and pieces off camera and hope to God that things go a bit more smoothly. Maybe I can finally, I don't know, kill the Earth Guardian. Maybe, I probably should make, actually, Nora's magic abilities. But I need a green orb for that, so I think I'll be focusing on that in the near future, so I can try and get my body flicker. Because if I had body flicker, I could have escaped that son of a bitch. Like, I could have just flew right through him. Never mind. I also need to learn some other techniques that aren't wind-related because I, I, need, I need something else to, like, get my affinity down. So I may have to create something soon. Maybe off-camera. I don't know. We'll, we'll decide later. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Fairy Tale Origins. Goodbye, everybody.